the Brown Lady of Raynham Hall. In 1936, photographers from Country Life magazine, Captain Provand and his assistant, Indra Shearer, were commissioned to photograph the interior of Raynham Hall in Norfolk for an upcoming article. While setting up to take photographs of the Grand Staircase, Shearer suddenly noticed a strange, misty figure materialising and descending the stairs. He quickly alerted Provand, urging him to take a photograph. Although Provand himself did not see the apparition, he followed Shearer's insistence and took a photograph with the camera already set up, capturing what appears to be a transparent figure in a brown dress on the staircase. After the negative was developed, the eerie image of the figure clearly manifested, to Provan's surprise, since he had been skeptical of Shearer's claim. Shearer maintained that the figure was so ethereal that the steps could be seen right through it as it descended the stairs. To verify the photograph was not a hoax, Shearer rushed to bring a third witness, a chemist named Benjamin Jones, to view the negative. The photograph caused a sensation when it was published in Country Life magazine later in 1936. Experts examined it at the time and claimed it had not been doctored or faked in any way. The figure was swiftly identified as the legendary brown lady ghost of Dorothy Walpole, the sister of Britain's first prime minister who was thought to haunt Raynham Hall. The photograph became one of the most famous and analyzed ghost images in paranormal history. Lord Combermere's ghost. In 1891, a photograph was taken in the library of Combermere Abbey in Cheshire, England, by a woman named Sibel Corbett. At the time, the recently deceased Lord Combermere was being buried, and Corbett decided to take a photograph of the library while the funeral was taking place. When the photograph was developed, a faint, ghostly figure could be seen sitting in one of the chairs in the library. This figure was identified as resembling Lord Combermere himself, leading many to believe the photograph had captured his ghost or spirit. The photograph was widely discussed and analysed, with some experts claiming it was a genuine paranormal capture and others arguing it was a double exposure or hoax. Regardless, it has become one of the most famous and debated ghost photographs in history. Freddie Jackson in the RAF Squadron photo. In 1919, shortly after the end of World War I, a group photograph was taken of an RF squadron at the HMS Daedalus Naval Air Station. The photograph was taken by the Bassano Photography Studio and included around 200 men and women who had survived the war. When the photograph was developed, an extra face was noticed in the back row, that of a man who appeared to be smiling and not wearing a service cap like the rest of the squadron. This extra face was identified as belonging to Freddie Jackson, a mechanic who had died just a few days before the photograph was taken. According to the accounts, Jackson had been killed in a freak accident when he walked into the spinning propeller of an aircraft on the squadron's tarmac, dying instantly. The fact that his ghostly image appeared in the group photograph even though he had died shortly before, led many to believe it was a genuine paranormal capture. The photograph was later published in 1975 by retired Air Marshal Sir Victor Goddard, who had kept it in his possession for decades. Goddard vouched for the authenticity of the image, stating that the negative had been thoroughly examined and found to be untouched. The Freddie Jackson photograph has since become one of the most famous and debated ghost photos in history, with some experts arguing it is a genuine paranormal phenomenon and others claiming it could be a double exposure or hoax. The Amityville Ghost. In 1976, a team of paranormal investigators, including Ed and Lorraine Warren, as well as a professional photographer named Jean Campbell, visited the infamous Amityville Horror House on Long Island, New York. While investigating the house, Campbell set up an automatic camera on the second floor landing that was equipped with infrared film to capture any paranormal activity overnight. When the film was developed, it revealed a startling image, what appears to be the ghostly figure of a young boy with white eyes 
peering out from a doorway. This image has become one of the most famous paranormal photographs, known as the Amityville Ghost Boy photo. The Warrens and the investigators claimed this photograph was evidence of a supernatural presence in the Amityville house, potentially the ghost of nine-year-old John DeFeo, one of the victims of the infamous DeFeo family murders that had occurred there two years prior. However, the authenticity of the photograph has been heavily debated, with some arguing it was simply a hoax or double exposure. The entire Amityville haunting story has been widely discredited as an intentional hoax. Nonetheless, the Amityville Ghost Boy photograph remains one of the most iconic and controversial paranormal images. The Tulip Staircase Ghost In 1966, Reverend R. W. Hardy, a Canadian clergyman, was visiting the Queen's House in Greenwich, London, which is part of the National Maritime Museum. While touring the building, Reverend Hardy decided to take a photograph of the iconic tulip staircase, a beautiful spiral staircase with an ornate wrought iron design. When the photograph was developed, it revealed a startling sight. The image appeared to show a shrouded, ghostly figure. Experts who have analyzed the photograph over the years have been unable to conclusively determine if it is a genuine paranormal capture or the result of a double exposure or other photographic trick. However, the image has remained unexplained, with many believers maintaining that it shows real ghostly figure. The tulip staircase has long been rumored to be haunted, with witnesses reporting sightings of ghostly figures on the stairs over the years. The Madonna of Bachelors Grove. In 1991, a group of paranormal investigators from the Ghost Research Society of America were exploring the abandoned Bachelors Grove Cemetery in Illinois. One of the investigators, a man named Jose Gomez, decided to take a photograph of the cemetery grounds. When the photograph was developed, it revealed a startling image, a ghostly, luminous figure sitting on a tombstone in the cemetery. This figure was quickly identified as the Madonna of Bachelors Grove, a legendary ghostly apparition said to haunt the cemetery. A female spirit said to be the ghost of a woman who lost her beloved during the Civil War, forever searching for him among the graves. The photograph caused a sensation when it was published, as it appeared to be a genuine paranormal capture. Experts examined the image and could find no evidence of tampering or double exposure, lending credibility to the idea that the Madonna figure was a real supernatural entity. The Wem Town Hall Ghost In 1995, a fire broke out that destroyed the Wem Town Hall in Shropshire, England. Amateur photographer Tony O'Rahilly was on the scene and took a photograph of the burning building from across the street using a 200mm lens. When O'Rahilly developed the film, he was shocked to see that the photograph appeared to show the ghostly figure of a young girl standing in the doorway of the burning town hall staring directly at the camera. O'Rahilly claimed he had not doctored or manipulated the image in any way, and many locals believed the figure was the ghost of 14-year-old Jane Cherm, who had accidentally started a fire that destroyed the original town hall in 1677. The Wem Town Hall ghost photograph quickly gained international attention and notoriety. It was analyzed by experts, with some concluding it was a genuine paranormal capture, while others argued it was likely a hoax or double exposure. However, in 2010, five years after O'Rahilly's death, a local resident named Brian Lear discovered that the ghostly figure in the photograph bore a striking resemblance to a girl in a 1922 postcard of Wem. This led to the conclusion that the ghost image had likely been superimposed or copied from the old postcard, debunking the photograph as a hoax. The Solway Spaceman In 1964, local fireman and photographer Jim Templeton was out with his family on Berg Marsh in Cumbria, England, overlooking the Solway Firth. Templeton decided to take some photographs of his five-year-old daughter Elizabeth. When the photographs were developed, 
Templeton was shocked to see that one of the images appeared to show a figure in the background wearing what looked like a spacesuit with a dark visor. Templeton insisted he did not see anyone else on the marsh when he took the photos, other than his wife Annie and two elderly women in a car at the far end. Templeton took the photograph to the local police, who could not explain the mysterious figure. The film company Kodak also examined the negative and confirmed it had not been tampered with. This led to widespread media attention and speculation that Templeton had captured a genuine paranormal or extraterrestrial entity. Over the years, various theories have been proposed to explain the Solway Spaceman figure, including that it was Templeton's wife Annie, whose pale blue dress was overexposed to appear white in the image. Others have suggested it could have been a double exposure or hoax. However, Templeton maintained that he did not see anyone else on the marsh that day, and the photograph's authenticity has never been conclusively disproven. The Backseat Companion In March 1959, Mrs. Mabel Chinnery was visiting the grave of her recently deceased mother, Mrs. Ellen Hamill, in England. While at the gravesite, Mrs. Chinnery decided to take a photograph of her husband sitting in their car. When the photograph was developed, Mrs. Chinnery was shocked to see that in addition to her husband in the driver's seat, there appeared to be the ghostly figure of an elderly woman sitting in the back seat of the car. This figure was identified as resembling Mrs. Chinnery's late mother, Mrs. Hamill. The photograph quickly gained notoriety as one of the most famous alleged paranormal images known as the backseat companion or backseat ghost photo. Paranormal enthusiasts argued that it was evidence of Mrs. Hamill's spirit appearing in the photograph, while skeptics claimed it was likely the result of a double exposure or other photographic trick. The Corroboree Rock Ghost In 1959, Rev. R.S. Blance was visiting Corroboree Rock, a sacred Aboriginal site near Alice Springs, Australia. While exploring the area, Reverend Blance decided to take a photograph of the rock formation. When the photograph was developed, Blance was surprised to see that it appeared to show a ghostly figure standing among the scrub surrounding the Corroboree Rock clearing. The figure was described as being clearly visible, though its features were not distinct. This photograph, known as the Corroboree Rock Ghost, quickly gained notoriety as one of the most famous paranormal images captured in Australia. Paranormal enthusiasts argued that the figure was evidence of a supernatural presence at the sacred site. However, the authenticity of the photograph has been debated over the years, with some experts suggesting it could have been the result of a double exposure or other photographic trick.